Welcome back to Grow With No Code. Today we're discussing the internet of things and the power of connectivity. The idea of connected devices was coined by MIT professor Kevin Ashton back in 1999, while he was working for Procter & Gamble. The internet of things, or IoT, describes a network of physical objects embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. These devices range from ordinary household objects to sophisticated industrial tools. With more than 10 billion connected IoT devices today, experts are expecting this number to grow to 25 billion by 2025. Billions of devices are connected to the internet, including computers, smartphones, smart televisions, smart refrigerators, smart cameras, baby monitors, and more. But they aren't all part of the internet of things. Devices that typically require user intervention are not specifically thought of as IoT devices. Internet of Things security attacks first hit the news in 2016 when the Mirai botnet hacked a number of IoT devices and turned them into centrally controlled botnets. These botnets caused a disruptive bottleneck that blocked internet access of millions of users worldwide. Security has been a real concern for the Internet of Things. Data is constantly being collected and catalogued. If you have a smart home device, it's always listening. Just to be ready to answer any questions you may have. And though this might sound romantic, this could be a very scary thought. Any data that's collected needs to be safe and secure. And unfortunately, IoT security has been historically poor. Devices did not consider the basics of security or leave room for encrypting the collected data. And if your device can't be updated, as many can't, it may be permanently at risk. And further, diverse data types and differences in computing power among IoT devices mean there's no one-size-fits-all cybersecurity solution that can protect any IoT deployment. It's safe to say that risk assessment and modernizing the approach to cybersecurity is key. The Internet of Things has been deployed over many industries, including manufacturing, automotive, retail, public sector, healthcare, and worker safety and has had many benefits, like monitoring overall business processes, improving the customer experience, saving time and money and therefore efficiency, enhancing employee productivity, integrating business models, and ultimately helping to generate more revenue. Overall, the Internet of Things has transformed the way businesses work, making them feel more connected and optimized. Want to optimize your workflow? With the power of connectivity, you can make your work life easier. Make your apps work for you, empower automation, and increase efficiency with Appy Pie Connect. Creating a workflow can be as easy as pie. Automate all of your tasks, whether complex or simple, in a matter of minutes. Save hours on repetitive work, get vital support, top-notch security protocols, and access to the tools you need to scale your business all without writing a single line of code. It's as easy as one, two, three. Create, connect your selected apps to allow them to communicate and share data. Automate, automate broadly with multi-step connect flows, which help you create your own workflow. Enjoy. Now sit back and let your automations do the work for you, saving on time and manpower. Now back to the internet of things. What are the pros and cons? The pros are access to information 24-7 on any device, improved communication between connected electronic devices, centralized data on a connected network saving time and money, increased automation which improves the quality of business services reducing the need for human intervention. And the cons, more connected devices means more information is shared between devices and the potential that a hacker could steal confidential information increases. Collecting and managing the data from all of these devices will be quite challenging. If there's a bug in a system, every connected device could become corrupted. Since there's no international standard of compatibility for the Internet of Things, it's difficult for devices from different manufacturers to communicate with each other. And so, of course, this leads us to think about the possibility of having everything connected. Could this lead to the Internet of Things linking up with artificial intelligence, becoming the artificial intelligence of things? Think AI in a mobile body, maybe like a little robot that's able to answer all your questions, much like 
a smart assistant would on a Google or Apple device, for example. A world where you could ask your little physical assistant to check the temperature of the fridge and to make sure that any groceries that you would pre-order from, let's say Amazon, for example, are going to be stocked up regularly and come in before you even know that they're missing. But back to the present, I'll leave you with some highlights. Chinese AV maker AutoX tests robo-taxis in San Francisco and has surpassed a thousand robo-taxis altogether. White Castle tests robotic fry kitchens with the Flippy 2 robot deployed to up to 100 standalone stores. Flippy 2 also contains an auto bin system for sorting low volume and specialty foods like onion rings and chicken tenders. Each compartment can hold as much as a full fry basket and is fully customizable. MotorQ has raised $40 million to advance its connected vehicle platform. The platform helps fleet managers to improve efficiency while reducing costs. It uses a vehicle's onboard computer to monitor data and run analytics. And using machine learning models, it delivers insights to customers through application programming interfaces and other tools. But what's next for the Internet of Things? According to Cisco, 500 billion devices are expected to be connected to the Internet by 2030. Internet of Things revenue is expected to grow to $594 billion in 2022. There were 258.54 million smart homes in 2021, which accounted for 12.2% of all homes. And now, according to Statistica, smart homes are forecast to grow to 350 million by 2023. And it's estimated that there will be more than 400 million smart houses with smart home devices and systems by 2025. That's all from us here today at Grow With No Code. Thanks for listening. Join in next time to learn more about commerce, technology, and maximizing any opportunity.